I'm a full-time shoe reseller buying used shoes and selling them for a profit. So what we're going through in this video is how much money I have made in 2022 doing just that. Well, it is official. I am that guy who shares his income on the internet to my YouTube subscribers. I guess there's no really turning back now. I have never made a video like this in the past, mainly because I, for one, struggle with comparing myself to people and I don't like people who just throw numbers out there at you and it just sets you into this trap of thinking that you're either not as good as somebody or this reseller on YouTube is better than this reseller on YouTube, so maybe their way is right and their way is wrong and I need to follow this person and it's just an endless cycle. So if you are someone who struggles with comparison and it really just gets you in a bad place, I really highly suggest just clicking off of this video and go watching another one preferably on my channel. I'm sure it's going to recommend some dealing with Dalton videos over here on the right. You can click on one of those and I will see you guys if you want to come back to this video at a later date. But the reason I am making this is I do think that as someone who puts out a lot of content basically surrounding how to make money, it's very important to be transparent with how much money I'm actually making because some people are hopping onto YouTube for the first time and they're stumbling across reselling. And if you're not seeing someone's actual net numbers, which is what we're going to talk about today, we're not just talking about the gross numbers that people can brag about the big ones, the ones that we're actually taking home as profit at the end of the day. That's what we're talking about today. The importance of seeing those numbers to see what is realistic as a reseller and if this is something that you want to actually pursue yourself. If this is the first video of mine that you are catching, my name is Dalton. I'm a full-time shoe reseller. I source the majority of my inventory from thrift stores and flea markets. So I'm buying used shoes, I'm cleaning them up, and then I'm listing them on sites like eBay and Poshmark and selling them for a profit. So what we're going through in this video is how much money I have made in 2022 doing just that. And if that is something that sounds interesting to you, if you wanna learn more about what I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a future video. But with that being said, let's pop into how much I actually made in 2022. Last year, I sold on four platforms and we're just gonna go through these one by one in order of how much I sold on them basically. So my number one selling platform in terms of gross revenue was eBay. In 2022, on on eBay, I sold $74,100.11. On that, my selling fees, which is the shipping as well as the fees that eBay takes right off the top, I paid $24,416.76, leaving me a net income of $45,785.71. Now, this sounds like a big number, but this is before cost of goods sold. Stick around later in the video after I go through all of my earnings this year, We'll talk about my expenses, especially the cost of goods sold, and that'll give you more of a realistic number of how much money I'm actually making. With that being said, we'll move on to my second best platform, and that was Poshmark. Last year, I did $53,083.85 in sales. On that, I paid $10,616.77 in selling fees. The gross sales that I'm telling you right now isn't including the shipping that the buyer pays on top of that because they pay that directly to Poshmark. And then that $10,616 is the fees that I paid to Poshmark for my sales. After taking those out, I was left with $42,467.08. Now my third best platform was Whatnot. I did not do a ton of selling on Whatnot, but I did do a lot of volume on Whatnot because the profit margins were very slim with the items that I was selling on there. It was just me unloading a bunch of inventory in bulk to my followers. It's a lot of fun, but the profit margins aren't nearly as high as they are on other selling platforms such as eBay and Poshmark. So take that with a grain of salt. On Whatnot last year, I did $12,741 in gross sales. On that, I paid $942.73 in fees, leaving me with $11,798.27 deposited into my bank account. And then my fourth and final platform that I sold on, this was Mercari. And I only sold on this platform the first, I wanna say three months of the year. After March, I decided to drop Mercari because it just wasn't forming as well as, I, as the other platforms I was selling on and I wanted to minimize the amount of platforms that I was selling on just to simplify my business and make it a lot easier on myself. But that being said, roughly the first three months of the year, I did $7,883 in sales on Mercari. On that, I paid $1,063.15 in fees, leaving me with $6,819.85. 
So adding up all four of the selling platforms, net revenue, that is after the selling fees, but before my cost of goods, I had a income of $106,870.91. Now that's leaving out one other selling platform that I used, but I did not sell shoes that I thrifted on this selling platform. That selling platform is my personal website, dealingwithdalton.com. It is where I sell my shoe trees. In July, late July of last year, I, la I launched my own line of Dealing With Dalton Shoe Trees. It's a product that I use every single day to clean shoes as well as photograph shoes. And I decided to make them available to you guys through my own website. And in those last six-ish months of the year, I did $8,305.03 and my fees and shipping costs on that was $2,118.77, leaving me $6,186.26. And then I'm not gonna get into all of the income that I made through uh, creating content and affiliates and ad revenue, but I will give you the total number of what that looked like so you can have an idea of what percentage of my income comes from reselling versus making content like what you're watching right now. Through YouTube, Amazon affiliates, and some sponsorships and other affiliate revenues, in 2022, I made $10,356.98. Adding those two numbers into my previous net income from my reselling business, my net income last year was $123,414.15. But once again, that is before taking out all of my expenses. So now let's get into what I actually spent last year to make that $123,000. Now moving on to my expenses. Now my first and largest expense is my cost of goods sold. The way that I calculate this is just how much money I spent on inventory in that calendar year. I decide to write off the inventory as I purchase it. Uh, this is different than the previous years where I averaged out my average cost per unit and then multiplied that by how many units that I sold in that calendar year. But before you go into the comment section asking questions, I am not a tax professional. Please take that to somebody who is qualified to talk about what it is that they're talking about. Um, but that being said, in 2022, I spent $39,550.10 on inventory. Now I haven't sold all of that inventory as I just mentioned, that is what I spent on inventory last year. And then my second largest expense last year was those shoe trees that I talked to you guys about. I ended up spending after, okay, so listen, last year when I purchased these shoe trees, the um, shipping from China, had it was just through the roof. As I'm sure you guys know, there was a ton of shortages and things were hard to get a hold of. And I was just super antsy and I was I was ready to bring these things to the market. So I, I paid a lot on shipping. I think like 60% of my cost of these shoe trees was shipping, which looking at it now kind of sucks, but I'm still happy with the purchase price. Last year, I spent $7,251 on shoe trees. So if you guys wanna make that purchase worth my while, go to the link in my bio. Let's just make it the sponsor of today's video. Dealing with Dalton Shoe Trees, head to the link in the video description and pick yourself up some today. Now, moving on to my next category of expenses. This one is, again, reselling related, unlike that last one. This is my supplies slash shipping. I threw the slash shipping on there because on Mercari, when I sold on Mercari, I would purchase the shipping labels through Pirate Ship. I just thought that was an easier way of purchasing Mercari labels, uh, which is one of the many reasons why I dropped Mercari because that was just such an extra step. But anyway, on sh supplies and shipping, last year I spent $4,365.65, roughly. That includes tape, labels, boxes, those shipping labels that I was telling you about. Um, anything that is required to run my business. I also replaced all of the shelves that I store my shoes on. So that was a pretty major expense that cost around like five or $600. Now the only subscription service that I use to run my reselling business, I technically run two, but one of them, which is one shop, it costs about $45 a month. The way that they're affiliate program works. If one of you guys sees me talking about it in a video and you click the link in the description, they don't pay me or anything, but they do give me a credit to use towards my account. So I basically have the next five years of one shot for free. So that's why the only subscription service that I'm listing today is list perfectly. I use that to cross list my items. And again, I have an affiliate link for that and they actually do pay me. So hit the link down there, sign up for list perfectly. You'll get 30% off your first month go do that, support your boy. But last year I spent $588 using Liz Perfectly's service. Uh, my next 
expense, which is my storage unit. It's been kind of a hectic year with the storage unit. My first few months of the year, I was in a 10 by 10, and then my roommate moved out, and then I moved my inventory into my apartment. And then in October, I think, we moved into a 20 by 10 storage unit. And so I just kind of I just kind of guesstimated how much I spent on my storage unit cost. I know I could go back and do some math, but I, I think that I spent roughly $1,842.65. And there are definitely a ton of other expenses that I can write off when I'm doing my tax taxes here shortly, such as like the miles on my car, the Wi-Fi, what I'm paying on my phone bill, since a majority of my phone bill is going to work uses. But that's all we're covering in today's video is the main expenses that I use to run my reselling business, just to make this simple and easy for you guys. So adding in all of those expenses that we just went over, I spent $53,597.40. In 2022. If you subtract that from the other number that we mentioned earlier, my net income was $123,414. Subtracting the expenses from that number, I have a total net income of $69,816.75. Now, again, this is pre tax. I still have to pay taxes on that number, but that is my technical profit in 2022. I'm, I'm actually very happy with how much money I made this year. It's not a huge jump over over how much I made in 2021. But with all things considered, moving back and forth from storage units, a lot going on this year. I've been super distracted because of Carly over here. Um, I'm very happy with how much my business grew. I'm excited that I basically broke even on the shoe trees. So next next year, that's gonna be 100% profit. It's gonna be a nice income stream. I feel like this year really dialed in a bunch of the processes in place in my business. Like I feel like I got a nice listing set up down. I've been consistently listing every day. I have a nice cleaning setup, a photography setup. I like the direction the business is headed going into this next calendar year. So I'm very happy with how 2022 went and I look forward to increasing that number this year. Now, please, once again, don't use this video as a comparison video because there's a ton of factors that goes in between me and other resellers you see on YouTube and yourself. Your only competition is you. Just try to improve on what you did last year, last month, yesterday. If you're improving on yourself, that's really all that matters. Again, I just wanted to put this video out there as a form of transparency so you guys know exactly how much I'm making since I am putting out videos on the internet showing you guys how to make money. I want you to know that it actually does work. You can make a full-time living reselling in 2023 as long as you're willing to put in the work. But with that being said, guys, that's all I had for today's video. If you wanna see more of these like really in-depth numbers videos, please give me feedback in the comment section or through the form of hitting that like button. I'll make more of these transparent, exact net profit type videos for you guys in the future. But that's all I got for you today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.